Hi, let me show you a handy trick today. Take a look at these slides with pictures. The first one has a laptop and we have a screen here which we want to replace with our own image. Take a look at this, another screen, we want our own image here. Another screen, our own image here. The way we want it is like this. Can you see? It looks so natural. Now, the traditional way of inserting pictures like this is you insert a picture, then play with the 3D rotation options and try and play with X, Y and Z rotations and you would really struggle to get the angle right so it fits exactly in the screens with different angles like this. Let me show you a super simple handy trick that allows you to fit any picture in the absolute correct angle that you want. But before that, I am Ram Gopal from presentationprocess.com, the creator of Ram Gopal's PowerPoint Mastery Program, a comprehensive and creative PowerPoint training program for professionals. First, let us insert a picture. Let us go to stock images. Of course, you can take a picture from any place you want. Let us pick up this image and I'm going to say insert. Now, obviously, I cannot place it like this. It'll look ugly. If I right click, go to format picture and go to 3D rotation option, I just need to keep working on the various angles like this. And it is a very painful, boring, laborious process, which doesn't always give you the right kind of result. Let me go to preset and say no rotation. Now, the handy trick is, let us place this over here to one side. Let me close this. I'm going to draw a free shape that covers the screen end to end. Let us go to home, go to auto shapes gallery from lines. I'm going to choose this tool called as free form shape. Click on it. You click on the first point, which is the corner point. Then click on the second corner point, click on the third corner point, the fourth corner point and click on the starting point. Now a shape is created. Then you select this, you right click and say copy. Now that goes into the clipboard of your computer. You select the shape, right click, go to format shape, go to fill and say picture or texture fill. Go to picture source and say clipboard. Now the image from the clipboard is pasted out here. Go to shape outline, say no outline. Now let us delete this, go to slideshow. You can see that the picture is placed beautifully on the screen. Now let us try another one. Here, let me go to the same freeform shape, one corner, another corner, another corner, another corner, and I click on the starting point. Right click, format shape, fill, picture or texture fill. This already is in the clipboard, so it beautifully fits in without any trouble. Go to shape outline, no outline. Even if the angle is weird like this, it works pretty beautifully. Once again, freeform shape, one corner, another corner, another corner, another corner, start. If you want, you can always extend this and play with whatever angle you want. Let us right click edit points and if you want to change the angle like this, it is completely up to you. Here I can see that there is a small sliver of the screen at the back shown. So I just clicked and dragged it. You make all your adjustments. Once it is done, right click, format shape, go to picture or texture fill and the picture from the clipboard copies Go to shape outline, say no outline, go to slideshow. You can see how beautifully the angle works. So the next time you want to place your picture on any screen, you don't have to struggle with the 3D rotation options in PowerPoint. Just try the simple trick and it works like magic every time. If you liked this simple trick, then you will definitely like this other trick called animated PowerPoint arc chart in just one click the trick you didn't know. This trick will save you a lot of time and make you look like PowerPoint genius. I will leave a link to this trick in the description box below the video or you can click on the link that you see on the screen, watch that video next and you will really pick up a handy trick that will save you a lot of time. I'll see you in that video.